Hi there everyone, my name is Chris, welcome back. Today's gear video, we're going to be taking a look at the split front tubes chest rig 612 from First Beer. Okay, so we'll start off with our actual main panels here with the 612 system. Laser cut, radius to the edges, so these aren't going to rip on you. Double layered, so it's 500D Cordura with Velcro in the back, so you're compatible with all your First Beer 612 pouches and standard Molly Pals pouches. You've got a total of five rows by six columns, and that's the exact same on each panel, which means each of these panels is basically equivalent to the uh, abdomen panel that you get on a plate carrier, on not certain, um, oh, well, most modern plate carriers anyway. So that gives you an idea of how much room you've got. Certainly possible to, well, you could easily store up to 12 magazines on this rig. Um, you could easily have, say, uh, a two cell double mag pouch uh, taken up four of the columns, so that's four rifle magazines. Um, and you could have, for example, a radio, uh, a med kit, and a utility pouch. Plenty of actual space, despite the fact that this is a very compact, and low profile rig. Stitching throughout, there is a lot of heavily reinforced stitching on here. If you check out these corners, for example, where there's gonna be a lot of, lot of uh, strain exerted, you can see how much extra stitching first beer have put onto there. That's just as an example. To get at the insides of the panels, when you want to attach your 612 pouches or any other type of pouches, really, you've got Velcro opening at the top. There's nothing inside in terms of retention loops, but if you did want to stash uh, sort of maps, documents inside of these, you certainly could. It's not ideal, it's not the easiest thing to actually get inside of these, but it's, you know, it's doable. In the center, of course, pretty much the, the main feature of this rig is the tubes. This is one of the largest six inch tubes, so when you want to get this on and off, you know, this is a rig uh, that was designed for snipers. You want to get down onto the floor, onto the boat deck, really low, so they can split the rig open when they're lying prone and lie their equipment to their sides. Very, very quick and easy to do that with the tubes. Literally, that's how long it takes to get this rig on and off. And of course, it means that just for general use, you can just put this chest rig on the same as a jacket. Uh, much easier than getting it on and off over the top of your head. As with all the tubes from the first bit kit, nice big paracord pull tab there, big knot, heat shrink down the middle, you can really get a good hold of that, even in gloves, in the cold, etc. Nice and quick to actuate, held on with webbing. And then uh, moving up onto the harness here, the actual main portion of the harness that sits on your shoulders is a two inch webbing, uh, jacquard webbing here in the multicam, very resilient, extremely durable and strong color matched elastic loops for routing all your hydration lines, comms lines, stuff like that. Quick release, uh, side release buckles here on both shoulder straps, covered by the elastic normally, but very quick and easy to actually remove those shoulder straps using these buckles. And then if you did want to mount it in a different way, so it was that little bit easier to get at those buckles, you can just reattach them like that. Still gonna work just fine for you. Moving around to the back. Two inch webbing is going to cover the entire area that actually sits on your shoulders for when the uh, weight of the kit's bearing down, so that's going to spread the weight for you. You've got this ladder system here of uh, another strip of sewn webbing so that the H harness can be adjusted. You can move this Velcro section nice and easily up and down uh, through the different slots if you want to change the height or positioning of it. it. Just means it's that much more fittable to the wearer. Uh, obviously that can be extended outwards or tightened in inwards again all depending on your on your body size and shape you couldn't you could actually if you wanted to change it to a, to an X harness by unclipping these side release buckles here and switching it over taking up the crossbar there and personally I'm planning on seeing if this piece can actually take the weight of a maybe a two liter hydration carrier hanging off of that and that'll give you a hydration mounting on the back which would be quite handy obviously you've got, you've got with these ladder sections of webbing here, you've got good points for putting paracord, bungee cord, uh, ITW web dominated stuff like that for holding down comms lines, hydro lines, bits of medical kit, all that sort of shit. Uh, the two inch webbing, getting loads of stitching on there on those stress points, bar tacked. Steps down to a three quarter inch just here on each side where there's not going to really be much uh, contact with your body so it just makes it saves a bit of weight there all the free ends of the webbing cut to an angle heat sealed tri glide here for your adjustment so there's a huge range of adjustment on this rig on all the shoulder straps and the actual 
lower back strap there, as I mentioned, removable via quick release buckles that are on well, pretty much every end of every strap. Uh, nothing really much to say about the back of the panels themselves, pretty plain there. Got first bit of logo, made in USA, which they are, little description tag there. The lower back strap, again, three quarter inch webbing on here. This is just to keep the whole ring in place, really. Quick release side buckles on both ends. Tri glides, I kind of think it's unnecessary to have two tri glides and two points of adjustment, and probably to even have two of these buckles because you're going to be getting in and out of the rig using this tube. Um, so you don't actually need both. They could have maybe cut down a bit on materials and, and saved a few grams there, but you know, you can easily just. Uh, chop this whole strap down to the length you want it and save yourself a, a bit of an excess strap. Obviously as you can see there's a huge huge range of uh, adjustment in the sizing on this. You could take that out to be pretty massive and cinch it down to be really small and obviously if you need it smaller than it will currently go you, you can do that as well. That is, uh, well that is everything there is. This is, a, this is a lightweight, very packable, compact, low profile chest rig, quick, simple, um, you know, especially for the price of it, definitely recommend it, guys. Top quality of construction throughout, of course, but that's not a surprise with first bit. This is uh, not a rig that's going to fall apart on you anytime soon. All right, so that was an in depth look at the features and the construction on the split front chest rig, first bit 612. Overall, it's incredibly lightweight, it's incredibly low profile, and of course, highly modular, very adaptable, very versatile. Uh, and very quick. That, that's certainly one of the key features, having that, that tube system in between the two panels. That for me was pretty much this, the feature that sold it, uh, being able to get that rig on and off over just like a jacket and is as quick as you can do it with the tube. That really is a, a really great feature to have. Of course the construction quality is top notch throughout. If you've seen any of my other first bit videos I've gone into the details of why there are people that make gear to a similar standard, maybe getting close, but there's not a lot of other companies that do things uh, as well as First Bit does in terms of constructing that, that nylon equipment. And this rig is really a, a fine example of how small, lightweight or profile a chest rig can be. But, you know, obviously you're gonna add your pouches, which will change this factor, but that's how small this chest rig goes. I mean, it, that's quite an impressive feat, I have to say. Now you can pick these up in the Multicam. You've got Coyote, Ranger Green, and Black. Multicam costs a couple of bucks more, but the solid colors are 99.85, something like that, about 100 bucks from the First Beer website. Link down in the description box below if you want to check it out at the First Beer web store. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate all the views and the thumbs up and the subs and stuff. If you want to, got anyone that might be interested, give it a share. Facebook and Instagram down in the description box. Daily updates pretty much on those. So yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.